Hey, what's up everybody? Chris here. So today we're going to talk about an awesome tool called AI Shell, uh, and it's by Builder.io. This is a really cool tool for me because it lets you stay in the command line a lot more. So if you're just getting started with Git or you're just getting used to kind of what things are doing in Git, this is a really interesting tool because it does two things very well. Number one, it instructs you on what you are doing. So it doesn't just do it for you. It actually gives you an explanation as to how and why it's doing it. And also because it keeps us in the command line, right? Instead of having to reach for our browser or reach for another tool, we are able to stay in our command line and continue to work out of it. And I love any tool that keeps us in the command line. So I'm going to show you quickly how to install it. It's very straightforward and then we'll get to using it. So just to be clear, if you are a Windows user or you are on an operating system that doesn't already have Node.js, you will have to get Node.js. You can get it right from this nodejs.org uh, website. Make sure that you select LTS and your operating system. Once you've got Node installed, all you need to do is go npm install, and then you need to set up with the config your open AI key. After you've set that up, you're already ready to get rocking. This does use OpenAI's uh, API, so it does incur a charge when you prompt the AI. By default, it uses GPT 3.5 Turbo, which is great because it's cheap, but you can pass it whatever model you'd like, and we'll see that when we get into the configs. So I'm going to show you a little bit about what you can do with the tool, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so to get started with this tool, you have to use the AI command, and then we can input whatever prompt we want. Like, say I wanted to check the Git log, but I forgot how to do it. I'm not sure how that works, but say that's what's happening. We can prompt the AI and ask how to do that. How do I see a history of all the Git commits? And it shows us a command, and it says Git log. Let's see if it works. Of course it works! Hooray, Git log! Um, so that's obviously a very simple example, but it is a good example because it shows us what it's doing. Let's do a little bit of a more complex example and see what the power of those explanations really is. So I'm gonna use the command AI, and then I'm gonna give it the prompt, please create a new branch called awesome branch and switch to it. And let's see what happens. So it gives us a bunch of stuff here. I don't think we need all that stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna revise it. I'm gonna ask it to revise by giving me just the git commands. So it gives us just the git commands and then it gives us this explanation. This is probably my favorite part. We get to see it creates a new branch called Awesome Branch, and then it switches to the new branch called Awesome Branch. And we can see here that it's doing that. And so let's see it in action by hitting yes. Now when we use our get branch command, we can see that we are on Awesome Branch now. All right, so what if you're comfortable with the command line, but you just need this to answer a few questions here or there, and you don't want to see that uh, explanation, you just want the command. Well, they've got you covered with the silent mode. So using the dash S switch, we get to do this in uh, totally silent mode. So I'm going to ask it to switch to the main branch and delete the branch called awesome branch. Again, we get this kind of, you know, extra information. So I'm going to revise it and say, please only provide the git command. And then we get this git branch dash D awesome branch. Let's try to run that and see what happens. Spoiler alerts, it doesn't work because we're on that branch. So this is where being good at prompting comes into play, right? If instead we ask it to please switch to the main branch and delete the branch awesome branch, which we are currently on, and only provide the necessary git commands, let's see what we're looking at. As you can see, this gives us a much more succinct command. So let's just run it. And if we use git branch, we can see that it worked exactly as we hoped. So like all interactions with a large language model, structuring your prompt in the way that you want it to be structured is very important. Providing all the context that the model needs to set it up for success is very important. So let's look at another great feature of this, which is its config. We can use the command AI config, and you can see here that we can set our open AI key. We can set the open AI endpoint. We can choose to be in silent mode all the time, and we can set our model all from this config. So all you have to do is choose yes or no here. We're gonna choose no because I love the explanations and then we're gonna cancel to get back to the tool. I know this was a short video, but it's just a incredible tool that I thought I'd highlight. 
Um, there's nothing really to go into past you. If you're new to command line, I think this is a great way to kind of get like training wheels where you're not having to leave the command line to get the information you need. And in fact, you're working within the command line. So it's going to make you a little bit more comfortable just to sit in the command line. And, I, uh, you know, I just think this is a, an incredible tool. It's being worked on and iterated on. So there's going to be improvements that come out down the road. Overall, I'm very excited about it. Uh, I hope you enjoy using it and I hope you have a great day. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. Thanks so much.